Today, we're going to look at a very common interview question. Best time to buy and sell stock. The problem is simple. You're given an array where each number represents the stock price on a certain day. You can only buy once and sell once. The question is, what's the maximum profit you can make? For example, the prices are 7, 1, 5, 3, 6, 4. At first glance, the biggest gap looks like 7 minus 1, which is 6. But that's a trap. Prices drop from 7 to 1, and you must buy before selling. If you buy at 7 and sell at 1, you lose 6 instead of making 6. The most straightforward way is brute force. Treat each day as a possible buying day, and try every later day as a selling day to see how much profit you'd make. Then just pick the maximum. You can imagine this as an n by n grid, with rows as buy days and columns as sell days. The diagonal and the lower left part don't matter because you can only sell after you buy. This method works, but it's very inefficient. If the array has length n, you end up checking roughly n squared pairs. The time complexity is O n squared, which becomes really slow for large arrays. So is there a smarter way? Yes, there is. We can solve it in just one pass. The idea is simple. As you go through the prices, always keep track of the lowest price so far. Each day, you can quickly calculate the profit if you sold today, and then update the maximum profit if it's higher. Let's walk through the example again. We use three variables. Buy tracks the lowest price so far and starts at infinity. Sell is the current day's price. Profit keeps the maximum profit so far and starts at zero. On day one, the price is seven. Buy is seven and profit is zero. On day two, the price drops to one, so we update buy to one. On day three, the price is five. Profit is five minus one, which is four, so we update profit to four. Day four, the price is three. Profit is two, smaller than four, no update. Day five, the price is six. Profit is five, update profit to five. Last day, the price is four. Profit is three, no update. The final answer is five. This Python code follows exactly what we just went through. Buy tracks the lowest price and profit tracks the maximum profit. Each day's price is sell. If it's lower than buy, we update buy. If selling today gives higher profit, we update profit. At the end, we return the maximum profit. If prices keep falling, there's no chance to make money and the function returns zero. The algorithm only needs one loop, so time complexity is O n and space complexity is O one.